Yeah, here we go. Oh, here's, oh, this is a really good one. This is horse nettle, and you're more likely to find this in pastures. And the reason you find it in pastures is it has uh, thorns throughout the stem. Uh, and another characteristic, it has thorns on the underside of the leaves on the midribs. And the presence of thorns is a great trait for weeds that occur in pastures because your grazing animals are going to avoid this and feed on other plants as they graze on the forage species. They reduce its competitiveness and so the horse nettle is left to um, escape. It has a sort of a distinct flower here. You can see the uh, five fused petals and then these yellow structures are the stamens, so that's what produces the pollen. And if Brandon get in there close, you can see a little structure here. That's the uh, stigma, and so that's the structure where the uh, pollen grains would land on and then fertilize the seed that would be produced there. And uh, this plant has plants at different stages, and so here's some of the berries. They're a little bit bigger than the berries of the eastern black nightshade. Uh, but this is a perennial and it spreads by rootstocks. So those rootstocks spread and if we look over here, it's about four feet away and I suspect this here is another um, horse nettle. I suspect it is an offspring of this plant over here where the rhizome just spread uh, from the box there and here's where the black plastic ended, and so that's when the plant uh, knew to send up another shoot.